Alright, welcome to our next flight. Uh, my around the USA flights using prepared. Uh, yesterday we ended up in Hinesville, Georgia. I noticed I just spelled that wrong. It's a double L. And we're going to Jacksonville, Florida. Really quick, about 55 minute total flight time. So this should be pretty good. And like usual, I hope I have everything set up. I believe I do, but if I have to, I'll move things. Uh, let me show you our route today. Using Sky Vector here. We are taking from off from Fort Stewart here. Got a couple of waypoints. Got to avoid this restricted airspace. There's a lot of military operations areas which you can't avoid. The real world you'd call up to see if they're active, but we're good on that sim. We're also going to go down and overfly St. Simon's Island. And I landed at the airport before on the simulator, and it was pretty nice. It's right off the coast and everything, and real world, uh, real world pilots are saying that that's an awesome airport to stop at as well, so, especially to eat, which you can't really do today totally safe, but, you know, so I wouldn't be doing that. Then we're going to pop right down to Kingsland, again, to stay out of this restricted airspace there, and we're going to go right down to Jacksonville, so... Got some really nice scenery for, Jacks uh, scenery for Jacksonville, so we should be good there, and yeah, so that is our plan for today, and we're going to start the plan up. Jacksonville Center is on, so I'll check with them when I get everything going, but uh, we'll refer to our checklist as usual. Seat track backed and locked, avionics off, autopilot off, car peed off, I double checked that already. Give that trim wheel a thing for some reason. Spad's been working a lot better lately, and I haven't done anything, so. All right. Uh, beacon on. Mixture, full rich. All the way in. Throttle slight, just a little push. Priming. We're going to push two things of prime. And very quickly, we're going to get the keys in. Brakes are set. Clear prop. Master on. Mags to start. And I'm not hearing sound. Cause I had sound off. See that? Just double checking. All right. I'm also hoping the volume comes up a little louder than what it was yesterday because when I went to the replay of the video on YouTube, it sounded very low. So, but if you're watching, let me know. So. pressure would be in the green. Oil temp would be in the green as well. It's just the color on the model. Lights as required. Yeah, I'll put those on. And mixture as required. Seatbelt harnesses, flaps up. I'm sure they are. I did not do a pre-flight. Uh, heat vent, defrost. It is wicked hot out. I don't even have to look. So put the cabin air on. But if you're wondering, it is now a balmy 680, nope, I'm sorry, 92 degrees or so. So we're getting hotter as we go down south, which makes total sense. And... Mm -hmm. Avionics on the set, radio's on. Good, that is go to flight level 100, and the uh, borrow is 3012. And from your uh, 7 to enable, uh, say your approach request into Pensacola. Closed. 
Sounds good. Sorry about that little delay there. So I don't want to start this whole flight to have everything mess up. But that sounded pretty good. There's the desktop audio back. And everything else looks good. Alright. Sounded pretty loud too. So it was good. Test the radio. Taxi lights already on. Because I put that on. It says lights is required. Brakes. We'll test that on the way out. And we're going to go to the runway. I wrote it down. One five left. And Walker 292, radar contact, climb on maintain flight level 360, say altitude to passing. What's up, 360 and 1300, Walker 292. Walker 292, thank you. Turn left heading 360, back to the for the climb. Left 360, Walker 292. Yeah, Delta, where they have this weird symbol and it doesn't look like it's closed. Number 33, Echo Lima, radar contact, say altitude. But we'll see, we'll call tap. Uh, 2,000 level, 3 Echo Lima. 3 Echo Lima, climb and maintain 5,000, proceed direct Harold. Climb maintain 5,000, request direct MOGA right now, 3 Echo Lima, if that's possible. It is, turn left direct MOGA. Same as yesterday. Left direct MOGA, 3 3 Echo Lima. Walker 292, continue the left turn direct Kimo, join the Arnie to departure. Direct key mode for the Arnie 2 departure, uh, walk 292. Delta 534, descend and maintain flight level 340. Delta 534, descend and maintain flight level 340. 340, Delta 534. I want to go to 6500 after 6. Premier 72, report Brent for a uh, landing clearance. Well, we report Brent. For uh, landing clear. Jacksonville Center, November 489 Echo Foxtrot at Kilo, uh, Kilo Lima Hotel Whiskey, requesting taxi to the active. We have the current ATIS information. November 49 Echo Foxtrot, uh, Jacksonville Center, say your intentions. We're going to be flying to Jacksonville today. Okay, do you require flight following? We would appreciate flight following. Okay, November 49, Echo Fox, let's see if I have the, yeah, I do. The altimeter is 3016, squawk 1072, and runway 6 left, taxi via Charlie, cross runway 6 right at Charlie. All right, we're taxiing to, that was 6 left? I think you got the wrong, oh wait, no, 6 left via Charlie and cross runway 6 right at Kilo Lima Hotel Whiskey for Nine Echo Fox Trot and also Squawk 1072. Thank you. Alright, I got to turn. That was a lot. Again, head tower. November 33 3 Echo Lima. Uh, we are landing east at Jacksonville. Information Charlie is current. Uh, let me know when you have Charlie and say approach request when able. Roger that, 
Walker 292, uh, you can actually proceed direct Alma, that's Alpha Mike Golf. Direct Alma, Walker 292. to see about that wind there, but yeah, we'll go for it. So I, I had one six seven and six. He obviously has something else, but uh, just go with it. See what happens. We're gonna make it to Florida today. Yeah, sorry. Southwest 1312, uh, ready to taxi runway 14. Could fix that, but it's going to take me a couple of minutes, so I'm like, let's just fly. Check from Thunder Radio Check. Uh, who was that calling for taxi? That was Southwest 1312, looking to, get, uh, looking to taxi runway 14, information Charlie on board. Southwest 1312, squawk 1042. Yes, sir, stand by for uh, Southwest 1312. Delta 534, leaving my airspace to the north. Atlantis offline, frequency change approved, ready to service terminated. Good day. See you later, Delta 534. Okay. Let's ask again, Southwest 1312, ready to taxi runway 4, information Charlie on board. Mm -hmm. Southwest 1312, runway 14, taxi via Papa November Lima. Papa November Lima to 14, Southwest 1312. Actually, 1312, disregard, I forgot you will push into Romeo. Uh, Romeo November Lima to runway 14. Romeo November Lima to 14, Southwest 1312. Take advantage of this little area right here, which I don't... I guess it does exist in real life, it's just... It's just a little off the airport diagram where it is. We'll go with it. We'll go with the sim. These default airports are perfect. So try to head to the wind. He wants to go runway six. This is good. Brakes are set. Run up. Here we go. Brakes are set. Fuel set to both. It is trim set for takeoff. It is flight controls. We're gonna do the box in right. Out, left, all the way, in, and centered. Looks good. All right, instruments, turn corner, the balls in the middle, looks good. Heading should be about uh, 43. Yeah, that's good. Uh, vertical speed looks good. Check center, number 33, Echo Lima. We have right, Charlie on board, and we would request uh, ILS runway good. 4 approach. So, ILS, which runway? That turned down this. Uh, 1-4. Uh, yeah, I know, 3 Echo Lima, roger. You can expect the ILS runway 1-4. Uh, turn left heading 0-1-0, vectors to final. Left heading 0-1-0 zero, zero, and vectors to final, 3-2 oh, Echo Lima. Let's see if that works. Oh, I'm sorry if it's loud. I hope that's not too loud. Alright, now, oh, primer in a lock mixture, best power, good. Going to 1700. Right magneto, 1 2. Can't drop down on the 125 RPM. And back to both. Go on the left. Back to both. Good. Car feed on. I dropped a little bit like it should. Vacuum looks good. Amps look good, because this thing doesn't work, but it'd be slightly to the right to show its charging of the alternator. Oil pressure, oil temperature in the green, idling. Not stalling, car heat off. Back to a thousand. We'll do the uh, briefing when we get down to six left. All right, back to my airport diagram. And here we go. We'll also turn on the strobes before we get on the run when we get on the runway. And I'll get the watch ready here. Well that's interesting. I'm gonna go this way then. 
The intro is in uh, the airport diagram. It just says there's six left and that's it. Okay. Expect the unexpected. On the airport diagram, I'm now riding on grass. So, <laughs> it's all good, right? Alright. Appear my tower next after I do my briefing. So, if there's a problem on the uh, takeoff roll, and we have the available runway ahead of us, we'll land, or takeoff, land directly ahead. Uh, if there's a problem, and we're going to say 750 feet, and we can't go and see otherwise, we will take a turn to... Southwest 1312 on departure, fly runway heading, wind 0811, runway 14, clear for takeoff. There we go, runway 14, fly runway heading, We will take a turn to the left, let that one on the grass, the tax rate of the grass. Whatever's available to us, best glide speed is 65. With that, we're going to call center and say that we're ready for takeoff. Jacksonville Center, November 4, 8, 9, on Echo Fox, try that Kilo, Lima Hotel, Whiskey, ready for takeoff, VFR, departure to the south, holding short of six left. And November 9, Echo Fox, try to make sure uh, after you depart, you're squawking more Charlie. Uh, southbound departure is make a actually a right crosswind departure is approved. The wind is zero five zero at seven runway six left clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff runway six left nine Echo Foxtrot. Right cross. Jacksonville Center Delta fifty five forty three is checking in level twenty eight thousand. You know stay tuned. I like to use them for enhanced visibility while well, yeah, here. Every little light. Right. Is that 5543? Yeah, Delta 5543. Delta 5543, Jacksonville Center, hello, SWAT 1035. 1035, Delta 5543. We're going to rotate a 55, climb up to 73. There was that one time during the Delta fifty five forty three, your radar contact, one uh, hundred miles to the west of the Chief Meyer BUR for level two eight zero. Welcome aboard. Right Pleasure to be here. On course. Good. Awesome. Oh, almost forgot to do the launch, see? Then I wouldn't have, I got like messages and everything coming on here. There you go. Be a couple seconds off, but it'll be okay. Satellite 1312, radar contact, climb and maintain 1717,000, proceed direct doggy, join the departure. Mark that, uh, we'll go up to 17,000, we'll go direct to Wagi, to continue the departure of Southwest 1312. November 3, Echo Lima, descend and maintain 3,000. Descend and maintain 3,000, 3, Echo Lima. Aircraft calling, you will block, say your name again, say your cosine again. Jackson Downer, Sun Country, 8254, radio check. Sun Country, 8254, 5x5. Sun Country, 8254, on the ground, and Jackson, it's Charlie, radio cap, the iPod, on the November 9, Echo Fox, radar yeah. contact. That's you turn right on course, maintain BFR. Right on course, maintain BFR, Nine Echo Fox Sun Country 8254, clear to Orlando International via the Xbox 2 departure, Ramon Beach transition, then as file. Well, maintain 3000, sure. expect file 192. Expect, uh, actually, let's do uh, expect 1717000, once you're on top to departure, departure with me is block 1031. Trim up so that we can keep that climb going. Alright, it's on country, uh, eight to zero, clear to Orlando International Airport. Uh, and file maintain 3,000, I think, 1,000, 3,000, and that's just frequency. And, uh, you can just walk one more time, please. 1, 0, 3, 1, 30, 31. I'm sorry, 10, 31. 
Roger, uh, 1031 on the box, Sun Country 8254. Sun Country 8254, repack is correct. Uh, spec runway A for, actually, 14 for departure, about some right to taxi. 14 for departure, about some right to taxi. Welcome. Check Center, good afternoon, American 1047's at VPS. With the weather, we'll pick up our IFR clearance to Dallas. Uh, American 1047, King of Jacksonville Center, hello, clear to the Dallas Airport via radar vectors, crest view, then ask file, maintain 2000, expect flight level 3801, two minutes after departure. Departure with me, squawk 1033. So Dallas, via radar vectors to CW, then uh, 2,000 feet of respect 3810 minutes at departure. Departure frequency is with you, squawk 10033, American 1047. First at point with the... American 1047, we've got correct, I'll buy some ready for taxi. We'll advise some ready for taxi, American 1047. Signal, we're already going to ask going to be less than that, and should be 12 minutes into our flight, so we'll see. Sun Country 8254, contact Jack's approach for uh, taxi clearance. I'll talk to you soon. Over to Jack's uh, approach, Sun Country 8254. Maximum RPM, that's what it's all about in this plane. We don't have an EGT gauge, so. That went down a little bit, so I'm going to put it in just a little bit. And that should be good. All right. Well, I'm cool. Number 33 so awesome. Echo Lima, contact. Uh, oh, stand by. One, six, five. It's very smooth up here today. Clouds, uh, you know, might cause a little trouble, but we'll see. And number 3 Echo Lima, contact Jacksonville Approach 127.00. He will have further for you. 127.00, have a great day. Thank you for the controlling surgery. Anytime. 165, where's my calculator heading? Stay in course, so we'll go there now. And the lake near Riceboro Town should be on our left. It's not called Riceboro Lake, it's just a lake right near the town or city of Riceboro. So. Uh, Premier 72, that's not a problem. Are you parking straight ahead? 
Yes, sir, I'm going to go ahead and park the sprint head. I was just calling uh, before I landed. I told you I left out a branch and uh, I had cleared the runway 17. Oh, that's not a problem, sir. You're good. You can taxi straight ahead on uh, on Charlie 2 to the ramp. Right at right, the number of parking lot. Yeah, we're up to us at 450. Nice little cruise there. And now we'll level out to 5,000. Yeah, we'll flight tomorrow, hopefully, weather factor. And we'll see what happens. Jacksonville approach is now online with that sim, so that's good. And Bahamas 20, 5292, Jacksonville Center, Squawk 1011. Fifty two ninety two radar contact twenty five miles east of uh Chief Meyer B U R Fellow three seven zero welcome aboard. Walker two ninety two leaving my airspace to the north of Hunters offline for position to prove radar service terminated. Good day. We'll see you walk two ninety two, thank you. Southwest 1312, descend and maintain 112,000. And Southwest 1312, the Orlando altimeter is 3010. You can expect ILS runway 17 right approach. Roger, altimeter 3010, expect the 17 left ILS. Correction, 17 right ILS for Southwest 1312. No correction, 17 left ILS. Southwest Nope, you got it right the second time. One seven right. Okay, yep. Uh, sorry, one seven um, right, you said? Yep, one seven right, 17 right. So yep, sorry, I was thinking you're going to be 8-ish, you're going to be 17 left and 18 right, so I was expecting 17 left, so I got that. Yep, we'll expect the 17 right, um, I left in the Orlando, 17 came, we went to 2000, 12,000. Yeah, technically 17 left is the arrival one, but we don't offer 17 right unless we're not busy. 17 right is a shorter taxi. Like a virtual yeah, I was because we're going to the terminal, uh, uh, no, sorry, yeah. airway, uh, no, sorry. Is it? Yeah, that's right. Wait, no, that's not Airside, which airside are you going to? I do do it yourself projects. And then Sorry about that, you ever went to Airside 3? That's where the that Southwest Park is. Um, airside 3, and I believe our arriving gate is going to be 101. Gate 101, so Airside 3, no. Southwest 3. Alright, uh, you said 2 and 3. Confirming Airside 3, if that's the case, expect ILS runway 1A right approach. You'll be a shorter taxi that way if you're going to Airside 3. One second, let me contact the company and I'll, and I'll let you know. One second. Alright, yeah, just give me uh, an air side and I will go from there. Yeah, Jacksonville Center is up today and Jacksonville Approach. Uh, so, we should have ATC for most of this. And we're on our way to Eulonia 
Georgia just over flying it to stay out of this restricted airspace, which is on our right. See if we can see Eulonia, because we're almost there. Uh, probably this little town right here, that's what I'm thinking. And we should be there in approximately three minutes, so it's looking good on the flight planning. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, company just contacted us for yeah, that info. Uh, we're here. parking Come airside on. tube gate. Uh, 127, that's what we're arriving for one, I gate 101, but yeah, airside 2, gate 127 for South Carolina. I'm pretty sure the 17 right would be the best option. Yep, spike dial, let's roll 17 right approach. Roger that, for that, uh, Southwest, uh, 13 call, we'll expect a 17 right ILS approach into Orlando, and, um, we'll be communicating with you through the thousand. Alright, back to the cockpit. I'm gonna go to those views I lose altitude, and I trim it out, but it always happens without fail. So. Well, how do we sound our volumes today? Center American 1047 for your taxi. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. I, I review the streams here and there when I can, just to see what's And going American on. 1047. But I think I got the settings now. The altimeter so. is 3012, uh, runway 12, taxi via Delta, Delta 1. I'm uh, sorry, Delta 1 Delta. That's 1 Delta to 15, runway 12, 3012 in the altimeter, American 1047. That's Elonia, everybody. So I'm going to check off 15, and I'm going to take a turn to 185 to go to our next checkpoint of Ridgeville, which I believe is also Georgia. It could be Florida, though. I'm not positive. Here we go. And by going to 185, I'm also going to have to uh, climb the 6,500. Excuse me, I almost got that wrong. See that my directional, my magnetic direction 25. We'll climb to 6,500. It could be. Um, with the 820, the microphone only comes in mono. And I sent it to the factory to see about that. So I was also doing that in the plane, but they fixed it. So I guess on the PC, whether it's the box I use or whatever, the mic's mono. And what you're hearing is a combination of the mic and, and the desktop audio. So. I have a gaming headset, which, you know, I could use that stereo, but I like using the aviation headset. Just me. So, paid enough for it. I like to use it. Lined up my DG there. Okay, good. Yeah, good. Awesome. I just don't like how it doesn't do the microphone on left and right sides. But most cockpit audio is mono. Southwest 1312, the cinema tank, 6,000. Music in stereo. Go figure. And the noise canceling is great, especially when your kids sneak up behind you and scare the bejesus out of you because you didn't hear them coming up. I like it on course here a little bit better. Climbing to 6,500 because we're heading in a southwest direction. Excuse me while I drink my iced tea like a man on a big bottle. That's how you do it. No 
cups required. <laughs> Got some Frank Sinatra blasting now. I am not flying the VOR. I'm using GPS and American 1047 is ready at runway 12. American 1047 on departure flight runway heading. The wind is 0609 on runway 12 clear for takeoff. Runway 12 clear for takeoff, runway heading, American 1047. I'd probably just say go direct to the Jacksonville VOR, uh, the Craig VOR, 114.5. And then, kind of know I had to be to the right of that to get to Jacksonville. But there's some restricted airspace, like I said, there's some on the right here. And up ahead they have another restricted area, so that's why we're going to go to Kingsland eventually. Kingsland, Florida. Oh, 6,500. Going to leave this out a little bit. Jacksonville, Delta 1987 is with your flight level 320. Delta 1987, okay. Jack Center, hello, Squawk 1052. 1052 on the Squawk, Delta 1987. Got some U2 streaming now into my head. Southwest 1312, turn right heading 270, back to the final. Thank you, Senator, back to the final. Looks like you can fly this highway, highway all the way down to Jacksonville as well, so we have a visual to follow just in case. Southwest 1312, this way I'm on 4,000. Let's get a pressure reading from uh, Kilo, Bravo. American 1047, is airborne passing Cuphead, 700. Kilo. American 1047, radar contact, climb on maintain flight level 380, and, and when able, turn Let's left, go. direct uh, Which crest view, receive more navigation. Up to 380, direct oh, to uh, right CW, right resume all navigation, American 1047. Jacksonville, Delta 1987, just be advised, we're maneuvering around some weather here. Delta 1987, no problem, radar contact 14 miles to the south of Melbourne. Uh, when deviation of course is approved yeah, to enable proceed that, direct yeah, delivery. Yeah, so, um, deviation for weather that. approved and when able direct Larry, Delta 1987. This guy's loud. But I'm not going to do the VR thing, I think it would be cool. But I have too much invested in all the panels and stuff I got going on. So, but it was very cool to see that. Yeah. Again, I want to see Flight Simulator 2020 and see what's going on with that when it comes out. Okay. Uh, four, two, one, two, four, one, seven, five. Let's get a quick altimeter check here. Kilo, Bravo, Quebec. Kilo, automated weather observation. One, eight, two, three, Manila. Wind, one. Southwest 1312, turn left, heading 200, maintain 3000 to establish on the localizer. Uh, clear ILS runway 17, right approach. Yeah, we're going to Jacksonville, but I'll go maintain 4000 to establish on the localizer, heading 1987 is now uh, present position direct, Larry. Thank you. I love the Florida weather. You have no idea. No, and I prefer to keep it that way. Get back on 185. It's better when you live in Florida. I think it was. 
So I do like me a good thunderstorm. Yeah, I have, I have my, I have so my thoughts that for it. Built over time. I actually got very lucky. A, uh, not only in my, my real world private training, uh, I was on flightsim.com looking for the uh, prop mixture from SciTech, which is wicked hard to find. The guys offering to buy it. And this guy on flightsim.com contacted me. He's a real world pilot as well. And he's like, listen, I got all this SciTech stuff. I don't even use it. You pay for shipping. I'll give it to you. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. So he had the throttle prop mixture, he had a trim wheel. Southwest 1312 contact over Lanza Tower. On so 118.45. 118.45, they put on the CTC, we'll be seeing Southwest 12. Even when I gave him a check for the shipping, I mailed it out to him, so that's all I could accept. He never cashed the check. <laughs> this was years ago, so obviously I, I thank that guy a lot, and still to this day profusely. Because this did help in my training. I know there are some people out there that are sticklers saying, oh, the flight sim can't do much with a private pilot, but it really can. You can go through maneuvers and stuff. It's not going to be perfect. The instrument part of the training, I ace that no problem. The only problem is you're not going to feel the um, the feeling of in the plane when you have, uh, what should I call it? It'll come back to me. I can't remember what they call it. It's when they basically put the hood on you, you put your head down. And they put the plane in a, a weird position and you gotta get out of it. You can't get that in a simulator, obviously. So Alright, Kilo Bravo, Quebec Kilo. On our left there. Got the ocean on there. It's pretty nice. I like flying in Florida. I know it gets very stormy down here. Both sim in real life. American 1423, a pilot discretion descend via the banker to arrival. Charlotte is landing south. My wife and I are particularly fond of Hollywood, Florida, and Fort Lauderdale, so... But we will be moving down there anytime soon. The uh, pay for teaching is better up here in the North States. And even though we have a higher cost of living, it's still better, so... Yeah, I, sir. I got there in 24 and a half, what did I see on the planning? I did say 24, so we'll go 24. Next stop Jack is Center, United you know, 15, uh, 20, 15, Which 70, 60, just have a wait for a few minutes. Uh, United 1576, uh, stand by, I gotta find you, there you are. Yep, call me back. I see myself going to Georgia anytime soon, if I can't get to Rob in Ohio, right Rob? That's right, you told me that before, I think. So nice place. We usually stay at the Hollywood Marriott, right on the beach, with uh, the fam, bring the grandparents down, and that way we get a little some time to ourselves, while also spending time with the kids, so, yeah. In fact, the last time I went to this next airport that I'm aiming for, uh, St. Simons, oh wait, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm not going to St. Simons. What was that all about? I'm not going to St. Simons. That's just my checkpoint. It's not going to be out there. But, um, last time I did that, I did a flight from Plymouth down to Hollywood, Florida, just to see what it would be like. Yep. Swing by and pick up Rob, right? Short detour, and I'll pick you up, too. You know what? If I ever do, I am saving up for a plane. Now, the, the probabilities of getting one, I'm going to say, are still slim, so I don't get disappointed. But if I ever get a plane, and the means, I'll see what I can do with you guys. I've been to Columbus, Ohio, and I actually liked it a lot. I actually... Number 9, Echo Fox, Friday, the Jacksonville altimeter is... 3015. Back in 2003, I won a contest for the MLS soccer, and uh, I got an autographed Taylor Tolman jersey by driving out with my drummer then at the time. I was a gigging musician back then. And we went to Columbus and tore it up, and I got to play soccer in Columbus Crew Stadium, and it was a really nice city. Go Box, that's all I remember, Go Box. We were in the bar, and it was just Go Box, and the whole bar erupted. So Columbus was a November 489 Echo Fox Projects. 
Go ahead, Jackson, 9 Echo Foxtrot. Number 489 Echo Foxtrot, contact Jacksonville Approach, 127. Jacksonville Center Radio Federal, good day. Over Approach, 9 Echo Foxtrot, thanks. 127.00. Jacksonville Approach says they're 9 Echo Foxtrot with you about 10 miles to the west of Kilo, Sierra Sierra, India. Number 489 Echo Foxtrot, Jacksonville Approach. Uh, if you could turn your mic down a little bit, that would help my ears. Jacksonville 3015. Currently in the air at 6,500. Sorry about the mic. Jacksonville approach says that 9 Echo Fox Trot, radio check, please tell me if the wine is better. That's the 9 Echo Fox Trot, that's a lot better, thank you. Proceed on course. Thank you, proceed on course, 9 Echo Fox Trot. Yeah, Buckeyes down, it was awesome. Um, I just basically reload if I had to, but you can do a replay, more information. I just basically get that out of there and so reload it if I have to, so. And I just zoom in again. That's the only way I found to do it as of now. But I'm right there. Jacksonville is down here. So. Alright, that's St. Simons. I got 28 minutes. And that is correct. So now we're going to turn to 220. Again, these waypoints were to avoid. restricted airspace. So we're on our way to Kingsland, Florida now. But we're going to be over the Satilla River for our next checkpoint. So we'll see what happens. STKP sees you today. Remind me what that means? I'm having a brain fart right now. Send toolkit pro. Yeah, let me know if that works out for you. I believe that's an X-plane only thing. Am I correct about that? Oh, can? Oh. Is it like an electronic flight bag? Much under 8254 contact Jackson, so I don't want to use 4.77 to uh... My opinion, just my opinion. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, they don't have traffic in a VAIR, and I actually contacted the developer, and he's like, I developed this for real world, so if someone else wants to make a plug-in. the same thing with uh, the app I use just to check traffic, which is Batscan on the Android. And sometimes the app will go down too as well. So. I don't know why, it's just the servers, I guess. But, uh, just something. I mean, it's all free. We can't complain, right?
probably might need a little. Um, yeah, on the GPS I am. It gives me the proposed thing. Am I doing VOR? No. I mean, if you want, I'll, uh, oops. Just with my checkpoint there. What I'll do is I'll, I'll go into the, break VOR 114.5. And that is still a little to the east, southeast of uh, Jacksonville International. We'll do a two here. And if we just see where it lands, that's typically the direction direct to the VOR, to the VOR. So I would have to go 174 to get to there. And then I'd want to go a little more where the west is. So. Be yeah, probably about south, 180, 185. And uh, you could also do a from reading of 320. And when you're on that radio, you're going to go right over Jacksonville, 319, 320. So. Alright, we're over the Satilla River almost. That's this river right here. That was my next checkpoint. And I have about 33 minutes, 20 seconds. So let's do the calculations on that. I'm sure the altitude is going to be all over the place when I get back. But, no, 33 and a half. I'll call it 34. I had 35, so now I'm faster by a minute. So now it means total flight time of 51 minutes. So let's get to Kingsland, Florida in a total of 41 minutes, 7 minutes away. So. Trim down. How about that? A lot of freaking down. That's gonna be my shirt for tomorrow when I fly. I have this big shirt with like a Chris Farley character on it. Says Lottie freaking down. I think that'd be cool. Maybe I'm nerdy. I don't know. But uh, renting the 152 at 10 a.m. tomorrow, and uh, I'm gonna try to do like a cross country flight because I need I need to get some in my logbook. If I decide to do the instrument, I need 40 total. And then the other 10 going to be under IFR conditions or sim. I don't know, but it's a total of 50, but 40 can be cross country from before, I believe. So. Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, you don't really do GPS in training for a private anyways. I mean, you have it in the 172s, and that's great. But And you can use the functions on it, but they're going to really like... Cross country flight is at least 50 nautical miles. The true definition, there's a way of getting around that in the uh, aim. But I like to keep it at 50 because when you do your private, you need at least 50 nautical miles away on a leg to be considered cross country. Every 50 nautical miles. So when you do your first cross country, I did mine from Plymouth to Worcester. Because if I did Plymouth to Nantucket, for example, it'd be 49 nautical miles. And when you have the examiner check your logbook, they might get out with a plotter and check the distance. But I mean, with with, with uh, yeah, I almost said with socket. With uh, Worcester, Plymouth to Worcester, that was a little over 50. So it saved money because obviously the further you fly, you pay more money to rent the plane. But at the same time, it also gave me Class D uh, experience, and they have like JetBlue going there. And it was over 50, and I went there and back. And then I went to Plymouth to Groton, Connecticut and back. That was about a little over 50. So, and again, the closer you keep it to 50, the less money you pay for. And then finally, the final solo cross country, you have to do 150 nautical miles landings at two or three airports. I can't remember, but I did from Plymouth to Worcester, Massachusetts. Then I went down to Groton, Connecticut from there. And then, I went back to Plymouth from there. So that was my 150 nautical mile cross country. And you already flew to those airports singly, so you kind of knew what was going on. Cool pilot has arrived. I didn't know if you saw her on the camera. But uh, I kind of shoot her away right at the beginning. I felt bad, but I had to. I was getting the plane ready. We've got some clouds here we got to watch out for. Double checking. But all the 
the stuff I'm doing here is basically what you do on the uh, cross country. They look at it, they approve it, and then they send you on your way to do it. And uh, you don't have GPS. At least I didn't. You know, I may mean, have my phone as a backup in case I really got lost, but you shouldn't be using that. You should be going by your checkpoints and stuff like that. So, and I actually learned that by doing the dual cross countries with your instructor as well. Like they'll go over, hey, where are we? You know, what time should you be at this checkpoint? So I practice this now on the simulator while I do these around the USA flights, so that I am still proficient when I want to do it. So, hi, Maddie. Hi, five. Echo Foxtrot, do you know where you're parking? Negative on that. I was going to figure that out after I got down there with ground. Roger. Alright, so seeing that he asked me, let me, uh... Oh, sorry, lost you there. <laughs> got a lot going on. Echo 499 Foxtrot, enter left on runway 8.
almost on a 45 already for runway 8, so that was nice that the winds worked with us, and he got on that, just to let you know where, oh, that wasn't me. Three nine five six Mike, you are Piper Warrior or sorry, Assassin on one thirty two, information Yankee. Yeah, 
With the signature FBO, we're going to be doing some pattern report today. Uh, we have GNSS on board. Number 3956, Mike, Jacksonville approach, stand by. In Jackson Crows, good afternoon, Riddle 405, also has signature, we're assessed on 172 style, also looking to do some kind of around the airport today. Alright, Jacksonville in the distance there, pretty nice scenery. And there's the airport. Uh, 405 FR Romeo, are you inside the other aircraft? It appears that he has one on. We will move those for you, uh, 405. Roger, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And 405 looks like the other traffic is moving, so we'll just stay put where we are right now. Number three nine five six Mike Squawk zero four one zero. Four one zero six Mike. Well, we eight right in front of us. Take a uh, left on to. Air four nine off the Fox Trot wind zero eight zero one two runway eight clear to land. Clear to land runway eight nine off Fox Trot. He's uh right on that because. Runway 3956, Mike, runway 8, back to VA Golf, Alpha, altimeter 3015. Very much on top of things here in Jacksonville. Alright, 3956, Mike, will taxi via Golf, Alpha, Lima, uh, to runway 8, uh, altimeter 3015. Alright. 405, Echo Romeo, Jacksonville approach, State Aircraft Type, and Equipment Pluses. Session 175, we have GNSS on board, information spot, all Yankees. There it is. Yankees right there, Jacksonville. Yankees right there, Jacksonville. Nice looking scenery. 405, I've got a meal, squawk 0473. 0473, uh, 405, I've got a meal. Get a beam in the numbers, then we'll do copy, start to descent down. Okay, copy. Back to 1900 RPMs. In the real world, that would be 1700. Air 405, Romeo, ready, taxi. It's just that the car is on the road, 10 degrees. Air 405, Romeo, runway 8, taxi via Golf, Alpha, Lima, altimeter 3015. Alright, Golf, Lima, runway 8, taxi via Golf, Lima, altimeter 3015. Alright, Golf, Lima, runway 8, taxi via Golf, Lima, altimeter 3015. A little bit more on the downwind here, then we'll take a turn left to base. I'm going to extend downwinds ever so slightly, and your approach I've never landed at before. I might have done Jacksonville before though, but I'm still not totally there. Alright, left base, left is clear. Should be about Excuse me, Mr. Mike, uh, verified squad code was 4014, or 0. Remember, it's 3956, Mike, 0410. 0410, 56 Mike. Can I have to play with the throttle here in the Coronado? It's just underpowered, so I go by airspeed mostly at this point. And out, going to 17, in the real world it'd be 15. Another 10 degrees of flaps, we should be at about 75. 70 on the low side, so I gotta kick some throttle in. And turning final.
flight time for 52 minutes, so we're definitely going to meet that 55 minutes. Calculations are pretty good. I'll straighten it out slightly as we get here. I like to be about 70-ish to 65. Last 10 degrees, 40 degrees of flaps. Get down to 65, 60. That will drop. There you go. I gotta remember to flare a little bit more at the end there. That's my problem with the 172s in the real world ahead here is that I gotta get that front wheel up a little bit more. It's not like I'm disastrous, it's just to be perfect. Keep working on that, so. Here we go, runway eight, Jacksonville. But the wider runways, you think you're lower than what you really are. Oh yeah, that was good. That was pretty good. So. Last aircraft flying now is unreadable. Okay, we will do Juliet. Stay in the middle here. Uh, flaps going up, car feeds off. Air 49, Michael Fox, try welcome to the track. We'll indicate right when they will hold short of Alpha. Roger, Niner, Cup Fox, drop. I'm going to go on Juliet here. Aerodynamic braking, just pull that yoke back. Try to minimize the use of brakes here. Right, and we're clear. Jacksonville approach, says the Nina Echo Fox track clear of runway 8 at Juliet, requesting taxi to the FBO ramp off of Gulf. That was interesting. We're not an Echo Fox track. Hold short of Alpha for now. And uh, where are you parking at? The FBO uh, ramp off of Gulf. That Eric and Fox drop. Roger, hold short of Alpha. Holding short of Alpha. That Eric and Fox drop. I think just someone. I think someone just flew across like the whole entire taxiway. I saw that too. Yeah, you see that? I did, but I'm not gonna report it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear anything. We all have our problems sometimes. Here we go. See that that was done properly. Right there. Air 49 next Fox Track Taxi to parking via Alpha Golf. Have a good day. Alright, taxi to parking via Alpha Golf. Thank you very much, Snyder to Fox Track. Strobes off. Everything else can all stay on. I like to leave the taxi, the landing light on for increased visibility. Those guys are going at it over there. And I'm just going to go park and be ready hopefully for my second leg maybe today, depending on how the fam is and the children are. Can't promise anything. I don't know if Jacksonville is uh, generally aviation friendly in real life. They do have an FBO there, so... Interesting, but they have a lot going on there. They have like the Air National Guard and stuff like that, so yeah. Getting back to that cross-country flight thing though, there's a thing in AIM where you could call a thing a cross-country under 50, but the thing is For a lot of the training, I believe that they want to see 50 or more to be considered a cross-country flight and that means on a leg so Four zero five Echo Romeo is going to be holding short uh, zero eight at Lima number two. Four zero five Echo like Romeo, Jacksonville. Thank you. It's a pretty easy airport to navigate. It's just Alpha to Gulf dot. So the thing that confuses me in the real world is when does an FBO charge you money? And I say that because when I did my solo cross countries in Worcester, to Worcester, from Plymouth to Worcester, they have red tricks over there at Worcester, Massachusetts. And my instructor told me just to go up to the ramp there, park, get everything ready to go. 
They have a transient ramp, but you said go to Retrix, and they never charge me. And I even Red used... 3956 Mike, wind 0012, runway 8, clear takeoff, make left close traffic. I even used their phone at the FBO and the restroom, so I thought, no, I don't know, is this count as charging? But they did it. They were very nice to me, and there's very nice pilot lounge and everything. And so. I guess it just depends on the day and if they're making money or not or something. I have no clue. But uh, the other airports I've gone to, I've always gone to transient parking or it's been free. Four three nine or five six Mike wind zero zero one two runway I eight clear for takeoff. Make left close traffic. Clear on both sides. And let's see if the uh, FBO is kind of modeled here. Four three nine or five six Mike trying to approach. Is Mike ready to? Yeah, field ramps over here, so that's where we're going. Red 3956, Mike 555. And, uh, we'll park this is Jack, sorry about that. Uh, I got disconnected. My, my plane was uh, being weird, so I reloaded it, but now we're good. Uh, runway 08, clear to take off. Uh, left close traffic. Oh, that made sense then. Yep. There you go. But, um, uh, also when I got to Groton, New London, Connecticut, the there. Coach, can you November? 980, I'd like to pick up my IFR to take some international. And uh, I was able to use their phone because for some reason my cell phone won't let me call up flight phone, I mean, um, flight service station to cancel O oh, with signature. Number 980, nine, uh, nine, Alpha, take position. So they do have a model signature. Not exactly like that, could do. Pretty, um, oh, you just popped that in there. 980, Alpha. But uh, Signature's known for uh, high prices, so. But it's okay. It's all virtual, right? We're 980 Alpha, you are cleared to the Just Daytona now. Airport via, via Red Victor Santa, then direct, yeah, maintain we'll 12000. To watch with me, Squawk 0447. Straighten it out. Spend that VMA. I always hated those virtual yeah, pilot things. Files, I gotta yeah. be honest with you, I thought that was ridiculous. I was Stand all about the flying, so. One, two, three. All right, we'll park zero, that the zero, signature plus, FBO, zero, four, four, seven, as you can clearly see. Nine, they did model it. It's pretty nice. The office would be there. Number 980 Alpha, repack correct. Call for taxi. Yeah, uh, see, see, I'll get you right now in one second. By the way, I forgot to thank that one person for following. I don't know who that was. We're at 390 Let's park this thing. So, Fox zero four one zero. Lights off, all that stuff. Flaps are right, four zero five. Uncle Romeo, wind zero zero one two. Runway eight. Clear for takeoff. Make left close traffic. Eight. Left close traffic. Clear for takeoff here. Uh, four zero five. Uncle Romeo. Oh, it, is it? Yeah. All right, three nine five six. Mike on to down wind zero eight. Uh, touch and go. It's kind of a mixture of everything, so it's like real world. It's better to hear them than to hear We're me. Three, three nine or five six, Mike. <laughs> Avionics. Oh, uh, radio's going off. Transponder's going off, and now you can't hear them at all. How's that? All right, all lights off except for beacon. You want to take any taxing off the electrical system before you do this, and then mixture fully. Mags off. Master off, lights off, and you'll still hear my headset though, even though the radio's off because I have it connected in a different way. All right, parking brake on, but we'll take a look on the outside here. Let's open up the door. There we go. All right, and we're gonna look outside. So here we go. Good. We're gonna push it back a little bit so I get the tow bar out in real life. And what you do with the tow bar is you see these two bolts on either side of the wheel. It clenches onto there, and then you physically just push it back with the tow bar guiding you. You usually put your hand on top of the hood here, or you can go right in the prop here, but it would have to be straight, so you'd have to turn it until it's straight to get a really good push there. But in quite sim, what I do is I close the door first, obviously, so I'm going to do that. And then I slew. That's just me, though. So why? And I'm going to go backwards. That's me basically doing all of that. I think my program might have crashed. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, it's not working. Oh, well, let's see what's going on with it now. No. Nope. All right. Let me restart that so I can actually pin around the aircraft. Give me a second. For some reason, Easy CA does not like prepared five when you do that at the end. So, let's see what's happening. 
take one more look on the outside, and then we'll call it a day. That's what we'll do. And I also have to save the flight, so that way when I take off from Jacksonville, we'll take off from the same place. So let me do that now while this thing's loading. Sorry if you need to see this, but it says no 172 and default, and that'll be KJAX. And again, that way, it starts in the same place I left it. Still waiting for this program to do its thing. There we go. Just gotta load, take a look outside, see some scenery. Call it a day. KJAX, yep. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I have some college work to do. I'm a teacher, so I get, like, I don't want to save the summers off because I have to take a college course, which I'm doing online. But uh, I fly mostly during the day, so I have the kids and stuff. And uh, hopefully to get the second leg in this evening, though, because I like to have an evening flight where it kind of goes into the sunset and stuff, especially in Florida. So, anyways, here's what it looks like on the outside. We have someone else on that sim right there. Oh, there's another guy. What if they have some type of flying club here out of Jacksonville? And uh, we're at Signature. So yeah, that's the Jacksonville scenery from CLO Sim. A lot of this stuff I just have to look at because I'm prepared 5. They didn't really get from prepared version 5, but this one went pretty good. I did have to make an exclude uh, BGL to get rid of some default buildings. But other than that, it works great. So, alright, with that, we are going to end our stream today. So, thank you very much for tuning in. Our next flight will be, because I already planned things out, it will be Jacksonville to Orlando Executive. So, might see Disney World, who knows. But, uh, might be doing that tonight. Might be doing it tomorrow. And, from my office to yours, see you soon.